And when you think back on your achievements as an 11 year old, it's probably rare that they will include having a published book and certificates in coding, programming and cyber security. Now, if you're wondering what kind of wunderkind has done all of this, then look no further because we have Amr Sali in studio along with his mother, Mariam, to give us some insight into how he has accomplished all these amazing achievements at the age of 11. Good morning. You know what, you're 11 years old and you have a published book. The book is called Blameless. It is about a character that, uh, you know, who, who can control minds, am I correct? No. No? It's what is your book about? The character, his mind is not being controlled, it's more influence. Oh, okay, more influence. And what, what is it about that that inspired you to write your book? Well, I was inspired by a book that I did first to write a book. It was when I was still, it's when I was in the library, mm -hmm. and I went to go get a Goosebumps book. So the book that I found was a book called The Headless Ghost by okay. Ardell Stein. And after I did it, it was one of the best books that I've ever read, and I just really felt inspired by it. And that's what left, uh, that's what encouraged you to write Blameless? Yes. And which other books and, you know, authors and novelists inspire you? Well, Ardell Stein is my top number one. My second could is either um, Jeff Kinney or I can't remember the person that wrote it. Okay, uh, uh, the person that wrote it is Stephen, Stephen, Stephen King. Yes, Stephen King. Okay, so you like that. You read the book It. I didn't read the old one because okay. the book is very, very big. Okay, okay. And w tell us, what do you want to be when you grow up one day? I mean, you're 11 years old and you've already achieved so many cool things. What do I want to be when I grow up? I want to do lots of things when I grow up. Good okay. Boy. <laughs> I want to be, I want to still want to be an author, okay. but I also want to be a game developer and like a develop things. Like I want to develop apps, I want to develop games, I want to develop all kinds of things, web development. Because mostly games and things, mm -hmm. because I just personally, I've always loved games. Okay. I just like playing games. And I think that maybe I can do make better, like make better than the new day titles. I think that's really cool. You know, that here on Expresso, every Tuesday we have Gaming Tuesday. I think we should invite you back to come and review a game. Yeah. What's some of your favorite games? Some of my favorite games. First off, it's Call of Duty. Okay, Call of Duty. You're getting all the camera guys very excited. <laughs> Subnautica. Okay. No Man's Sky. Okay, so you like playing all the cool games. That's awesome. Now, Mom, you have a very intelligent boy here. I mean, you've got three other sons as well. When did you first realize, you know, that Amr is, he, like he is, he's got something unique. He's making, you know, he's really making things happen. How did you, how were you able to nurture and encourage that? Um, I realized it from the day he was born. Actually, for the first year, he was just like sitting there doing nothing and flies could free, fly in and out of his mouth and, oh. and then suddenly when he was two, three and, and I realized it when he started challenging his teachers the very first day of school. Okay, so he's always had, it. like I've noticed, yeah, I, asked him, I asked him if his other brothers are, is, is as clever as he is and he's like, well, the definition of clever is different for each and every person. So I love that, I absolutely love that. Now he's homeschooled, what did, made you decide to homeschool Amr? Well, um, Amr holds about 17 certifications, and um, I don't even think his teachers at that point was aware of it. So last year was his first year that we did um, homeschooling, and actually transitioned to virtual schooling right now. Okay. Because it's a step up from homeschooling. Because um, Amr likes instant things, instant results. He writes about assessment every day, whereas um, every other child writes assessment at the end of the term. Mm. So for math and so forth. And the challenge is just that he, he, he's got different interests. Like I, like I said, Mo, as you can see, cybersecurity, and, and I have to keep... Satisfying that. Yeah, exactly. And, and I have to keep nurturing it. it. For example, yes. last night, uh, myself and his dad took turns because I've been doing it for three years, and he's busy developing an Xbox game. Oh, wow. So he finally got the equipment. Um, thanks to a very generous donor, and um, so he needs the resources still. Okay. So now you must know he must make it doing the layouts, and so he's explaining to us what he's going to do, and all of that, everything else, and then um, his work is done, school work is done by 12 every day. Oh, you are absolutely amazing, and you got an early head start this morning, because you were up super early to be here. Yes, I was actually <laughs> the last one up. 
<laughs> oh, you were the last one up. Okay. Well, listen, it was so lovely having you here. Amir, it was so great to meet you. I really think we need to invite you back for our Gaming Tuesday. Once you've developed your Xbox game, you come back, you review it for us. But I do think we need to put in a good word so that you can Zoe, come. I just want to make a quick note. I just, I just feel like I need to say that Amir was awarded uh, a few days back a full scholarship from Think Digital College until he matriculates one day. Oh, <laughs> Thank you so much for somebody that just understands him outside the classroom. And um, also then he spoke about his brothers and all of them was awarded a full scholarship <gasps> until they matriculate one day. That is absolutely incredible. So thank you incredible. so much. I feel it's amazing. Well, Mom, Amr, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Your, sh your star is certainly shining very bright. What and if you would love to um, mm. l l get to know him a little bit more, make sure you head on over to his yeah. public Facebook page. That's Amr Sali. You can like it and you can keep up with this really young, bright star.